Hi, Amy. Hi. Thank you for, you know, setting it up at a different time today. I apologize. Oh, no worries. I totally get it. And you know what's so crazy is that I was so close to, to telling you that I'm running late as well. I was changing a diaper at that time. My boy woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like bad timing. And I'm like, dang, I'm wiping poop at that time. And I'm like, gosh, should I message her? And, and, then, and, and then, yeah, you were running a little late. So I'm like, okay, great. It worked out. Yep. So, no I got sucked in. I remember my husband's like, we got to finish this bit. I'm like, okay, I've got 10 minutes. We got to hurry up. And then it was like, I totally got sucked in. And then I was no, like, oh, I get shoot. It. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I apologize Lord. about last time too. Was, I don't know if it was my connection or your connection, but yeah, the connection cut us off the first time. So I don't know if you if yeah. you remember anything the first time. Do you do you recall the first? I do. I do recall. So I still need to go in, and that was where I was like, okay, I want to wait to talk to you. Oh, that's not my screen. Anyways, I because I wasn't sure like how to get the you know over here in the intro. Yes. How to get the different social media all the same thing? Because yes. like number one, I have LinkedIn, but it's it's hooked up to my go away junk. Okay. You know, so I don't know how to do another one for real estate or do I need to do another one or do I just combine in that one? I, to um, tell you the truth, just like I would, and this is just me, you know, thinking from, this is just me looking at everything from the outside in, right? Like I'm just, I'm just on the outside looking in, but, but let me know if I'm wrong. Are you more of the real estate side and your husband's more of the junk side? Or is he also real estate and you're also junk? I am also junk. He is, he does not do real estate. He, we do flipping thing. I'm the one that works real estate. I would, He's the one that runs the, okay. I'm the one that helps him with the junk company, like okay. putting together the bids. I okay. talk to the clients because he feels that it's better if I speak to them because yep. I don't have an accent where he does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm involved on both sides. What I would highly, highly recommend, and this is just the branding of, of just, and this is just social media, right? All those social media are social media mm -hmm. branding. That's what this is all about. But at the same time, your social media brand, I would, I would recommend you being the real estate side. So for example, in this intro, everything is Amy Realtor. So, gotcha. so no, no, now, now the junk, the junk link, as people click about, and they click on work and education, this is where we should see. So I shouldn't see the Hopkins team. I should not see KW, KW, NSA, Juice Plus. I shouldn't see any of these. All I should see over here is your real estate page and then your junk page. Now I'll see the junk page over here as people click on work and education, but in the intro, I would say just put the real estate. So just like candies, everything is properties, 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 properties. That's, that's her first, you know, that's the intro, okay. but that's just what I would, I would say. I mean, you could, I mean, you could do whatever you want. It's all, it's all preference, but the whole point of this step one, as far as just the overall branding of it is to make everything look clean and make everything match. Streamlined. Streamlined. Mm -hmm. Like let's just streamline everything. And then, and then what I would suggest for, for your husband, if he, if, if he has a personal Facebook page, put everything on in the intro on his page on the junk side. Yeah. That's the thing. He doesn't have any social media. Okay. So then do it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So then I would, I would keep everything real estate on, on the links over here, but then also in the about put the junk link right here. And then, and then as people Got click you. on the junk link and they go to the business page for, for the junk page, that's where in the about section, so for example, over here on your real estate side, in the about section, this is where you're going to have everything real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. But on the junk business page, that's where you can go and customize all the links for the junk and make the junk its own brand, its own entity. So your husband, his face doesn't even know we're in it. Your face ain't even know we're in it. It's its own brand. So it has its own LinkedIn, its own Twitter, its own Pinterest, its own Instagram. That's what I would suggest. Okay. So, so, so now your face is the real estate. The junk is its own, is its own face. And it even has its own social media handles or links. Right. 
which we do. I have, I haven't set up the Instagram. I have, it's pretty much just the LinkedIn right now and the um, okay. Facebook. Okay. And, and just keep in mind, as I, as I touched on yesterday, the whole purpose of having these top five, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn, it's only because from a business perspective, that's where everyone's at. So billions right. of people are literally on these top five. Now you have other platforms that are popular. YouTube is popular. TikTok is now popular with the younger crowd. But as far as our demographics, let's just call it 30 plus, 30 to, 30 to 75 is literally on one of these platforms. Yeah. So, so it's all about just having them active, having them listed, and, and just going the extra step and having them all match. Now you don't have to be posting on all of them all the time. You just want to have them active and listed. Pick your favorite platform. Like if you're just on Facebook okay. or, and, and you're just a Facebook gal, okay, post all the time on Facebook, but at least give people the ability to follow you on their favorite platform, which may happen to be Pinterest. Right. For all you know, right? right? For all we know, it could be Pinterest for all we know. You know what I mean? So, so that's just where people are going to be communi communicating with you. That's where, I mean, you and I, if you really think about it, we direct messaged on Facebook. We jumped on a call and I don't even have your phone number, right? That's, right. The, that's the, the, the path of communication now. So even with the junk side, people are going to come across your page and message you on Facebook before they ever pick up the phone and call you. So right. it's not about even having your phone number listed anymore, you know, because I know in real estate, when I was in the mortgage business, I had my phone number everywhere. But on social media, your phone number is not even needed. People are messaging you before they're calling you. Right. You know, and that's, and that's a good thing, right? I don't want my number necessarily blasted everywhere, right? If, right. I'm the same way. I mean, I get, I sometimes get some very bizarre, weird yeah, calls. Yeah, right. So. Exactly. So <laughs> keep the links up, make everything match, give this intro a facelift. And, and that's just Got what you. I call step one. But I have a simple video, like I'll email you like, as I, I think I mentioned it yesterday, but I have a YouTube channel. I have a pretty successful channel that's growing. I, I release uh, daily videos on, on all this stuff, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. I, I put out a video every single day on my channel, but I have a video on, on this step one, so I can easily send it to you. Okay, great. I would appreciate that. Yeah. And, and it's like, I think it's like a 20 minute video, but one, cause I kind of take you in depth, but once you watch it, you'll be able to link everything in two minutes. Like Got you. Super Perfect. simple. Super simple. And then, and then once once you list them, and then I also show you how to list them public. So they're showing here, and then when people click about, they're showing right here. So right where you see okay. April twenty seventh. So for example, if I go back to Candies, everything is showing here right away. But if I click about, everything is also showing right here. Right. So that's those are all clickable links and that's, that's what we're shooting for. So that's step one personal page. And then, and then getting everything in the about section on the business page and then simply taking this light count up that's step two. And, and, and yeah. again, as, as I kind of mentioned yesterday, these actually, I don't know, did I tell you all these friends are, are agents? Did I mention that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I have, because everyone, I mean, the only one that's not an agent, Amy, is my wife. And, and that's this one right here. Let me show you. She's the only one out of 5,000 who is not an agent. That's Melina. So that's my little baby girl. And then we just had another, okay. another little boy, a little baby boy. But she's the only one on this list who is not an agent. Every single one, 49999 is our, our agents. But the reason why I'm telling you that is because that's, because I have all agents, everyone's doing the same thing. Like everyone's posting the same listing, open house, everyone's marketing the same exact way. And when it comes to step two, which is this like count, everyone's clicking invite. And as we all click invite to invite our personal friends to like the page, and especially if you're below, if you're below, if you're below 1000, like you're at 726. So you're below 1000. It's going to take you most likely the rest of the year just to get this number to 3.30. Like just to go up another 100 to 3.30, it'll take you the rest of the year gotcha. based, on, based on this friend count. Now the likes, it's only important when it comes to first impression. Like it's only important when it comes to perception. It's the first thing I see when I land here. So again, as I kind of, I don't mean, I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but I, I definitely want to just really, you know, nail this in where, where it's like at this point since 2016, I've helped hundreds of agents with this with this exact, you know, with these, with these basic steps, right? Hundreds of yep. agents. Like I have so many reviews on my page. It's ridiculous. 
Like I, I have so many reviews on my business page um, about all this stuff. But at this point, I've helped hundreds. Since 2016, I've literally spoken to thousands. Like you can't help everyone, right? Like I've spoken to way more than I've helped. I've spoken to thousands on this agent since 2016. But at this point also, I've literally looked at tens of thousands of business pages, tens of thousands. Because as I keep 5,000 up, up to date on my friend list, I'm always keeping it fresh. If a few people unfriend me, okay, cool, I'll request more. If I unfriend a few people, I'll request more. You'll always see this number at 5,000. So I'm always, th this is what I call like my list. This is how I network and get, a, get in touch with people just like you. It's that 5,000 list. So as I'm sh shuffling through 5,000 people at all times since 2016, again, at this point, everyone's clicking invite. And so as I come to their page, yeah. I'm here to tell you, after looking at tens of thousands, and this is step two, after looking at tens of thousands, everyone has 99.999% have 200 to 300 likes. So the only reason why this is important, an important ad is so you can kind of separate yourself from the rest. So when people come to your page, I'm coming to right. Amy's page, I see 230. I come to Candy's page, I see 3,500. I don't know Candy, I don't know Amy, I don't know Stacy, I don't know John. Everyone's a realtor, everyone's pitching the same thing, but I come here and that is the first impression. So all you wanna do, all right. I suggest on step two is, is run a like ad. Like I can easily help you run that ad. Like okay. that, that's, a, that's a simple ad I can, I, not, and that's the thing, agents don't know how to run it. Have you ran that ad before? Nope. Okay, so, so if you haven't <laughs> ran that ad or if you haven't ran an ad in a, in a while, that, you're I haven't ran an ad leave. period. Okay, so I've I don't tried to, to run ads or like boost certain um, posts, mm -hmm. but if it has anything to do with a house, they will not let you boost the post. Yes, there's, or anything, there's you know. So I just like got frustrated and gave up. Yeah, I'll help you for sure. That's that, that's something I can do for sure. But um, that's simple. I'll do that for you. No big deal. Just give me a good review. You pay for the ad. Just give me a good review and I can easily take that up for you. But that's one ad. It's not a monthly ad. You're going to just run it one time, put a comma in that number fast, and that's one step. So now when I come to your page, I see 2,200 rather than seeing 200. That's a big deal as far as perception. So, you, so you'll run the like for me? Yeah, I can easily run that ad for you. All I'm going to charge you is a good review. That's how I got all these reviews. Hey, I'll, that sounds more than absolutely yeah. fair. So that's step two, one-time ad. And then, and then once we hit our desired goal, whether it's taking it up to 1,200, whether it's taking it up to 2,200, whatever. Like, we don't need to go that yeah. high. Like, Candy? Um, you would you, I mean, if I don't mind paying for it too, but can you do that for go away junk as well? Heck yeah. Yeah, we'll do both. For sure. Okay. Yeah. It just, it just, I mean, when it comes to the real estate side, you don't really need that many like candy. She wanted to go up to 3,500 and that, and that's cool. Like some clients I'll take up to 5,000. Um, but the highest I've ever taken someone is 10,000 only because they really wanted to. But I always tell, like, like I'm telling you, I've looked at tens of thousands of pages. 99% have 200 to 300 likes. So if you just had a, if right. you just had twelve hundred, you're fine, right? But at the same time, it's just kind of, it's preference, it's ego. Some clients say, "No, David, take it up to seven thousand. I don't care about none of these people. Take it to seven thousand. And I'm like, "Okay, cool." But just as far as as far as budget, what I'm really trying to say is that you don't need to put that much into that ad because that's a like ad. That's not where we're going to capture leads. Where we're going to start capturing leads is when we go to step three. Step three is when you start taking these types of posts, like let me, like these videos right here, perfect example. Are you, are you like, let me, let me look at these videos really, really, oh my gosh, Amy, I'm telling you, you're going to crush it. Like I'm telling you, if you really take what I'm saying, you're going to crush it. And I think this is where we left off yesterday. This is where we yeah, left off yesterday. Yeah, that's exactly where we left off. This yep. is, this is like this, when I see this, I get the chills because again, I've spoken to thousands of you guys, thousands. And 99%, just like the business page, again, have a couple hundred likes. But when it comes to step three and, and what I'm going to suggest for, for capturing leads, it's video and 99% of agents fear the camera. So when I see this, I don't care if you were shy. I don't care if you think you can barely do it. The fact that you did it, you're ahead of everyone. So now here's the ultimate strategy. What every agent will do is they'll take this video, right? If they have the, you know, the, the guts to do it, they'll do it and they'll just put the video out whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whether it's a market update, whatever. They'll take that video, they'll put it on their business page and they'll get 29 views. 
They'll share it on their yep. personal page when 99% of the people that are friends with them don't even live in the area. So that's why we're getting very few views because the people who actually like the page, they came from your personal page and then those people are even in the area. So the 15 views, so, so that's number one. Not many of the likes that you currently have now are in the area, so not many people care about this video. Not disrespectfully, they just, in a respectful way, they're just not in the area. Right. So, so that's number one. But number two, right. Facebook, whenever you post on the business page organically, meaning you just post whenever you want to post, that's just random posting, that's organic posting. Number two reason why you're not getting that many views is because Facebook only shows that post to 1% of the likes. So if I just sit here and post organically and post all day my listing, my open house, whether it's a video, whether it's an image, Facebook's only shown it to 1% of that like count anyways. So that's why the like ad, it's just to give it a boost and put a comma in that number as fast as possible. But are leads going to be coming from there? Most likely not. Leads are going to start coming on step three. And this is step three. When we start taking these videos and start running them as Facebook ads directly to your farm. So wherever you're doing business, the handful of zip codes, your town, your city, those are the only people that need to be seeing a, a video from you. And to really keep it simple, it's one video per week. So right here, you have one, two, three, and this is what I, what I yeah, I remember talking about this yesterday. You have six videos. Let's just look at these six videos. I would yeah. have released one per week. So you're looking at six weeks right there. One video per week, you're running it as an ad. So this is a one week video. That's a one week video. The third week, there goes your third week video and so on and so on. And so when you run that as a Facebook ad and you target that local area and you do it every single week, by the time we get down to the fifth and sixth video, I swear to you, your whole entire town is going to know who you are. Now, step three, these videos, awesome. here's the deal though. With the video, there has to be a call to action. So with the video, it can't just be random real estate stuff that we're talking about. It has to be specific. So what I always tell my, my friends and my clients is I say, okay, if we have a video on a listing, that's one thing. If we have a video on an open house coming up, that's one thing. But most likely, we're not always going to have a listing or an open house. And so what I'm saying is step three is a weekly ad. We want to make it weekly. Like no matter what, it's like our religion. It's a weekly ad. We have to run one every week, no matter what. And so when it comes to overall social media, you have a lot of people that are posting all over the place. I'm telling you right now, no need to do it no more. LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. There's no need to post. Because again, it's not just Facebook. You're 726 on your personal page. It's not just Facebook. It's every platform. The people that you're connected with, with LinkedIn, 99% of them don't even live in the area. So why am I posting? It all comes down to one single post, one single video, one single that goes on your Facebook business page that you're running a weekly ad on. That is it. But again, the strategy is to talk about one topic. So if we don't have a listing, if we don't have an open house, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna recommend is that you get your hands on a buyer guide or a seller guide, either one, not both. I mean, you can have both, but the but what I'm saying is the weekly strategy is is focused on one. We're either gonna target our local area and we're gonna be that listing agent through Facebook ads, or we're gonna target that local area and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna target buyers. And with that, we're going to do a video. So, so for example, let's say, let's, say you're, let's say you're a listing agent. Let's say we're going to focus on sellers. This entire Facebook weekly campaign is based around sellers and looking for listings. Your videos are going to be short two-minute videos. Actually, it could be nine minutes. It could be even 20 minutes. It could be five minutes. It could be whatever you want. But it's, they're, going to be, they're, going to be, they're going to be short videos on the topic of selling. We're going to start educating people, just like you're probably doing in these videos. You're educating, you're bringing content, you're, you're, you're bringing value. But again, what I'm saying is we're going to narrow it in. We're going to talk about <clears throat> selling or, or again, buying, but I'll just keep it on selling for this example. We're going to do short videos educating people on the process of selling, what it takes to increase the value of your home before you sell, renovating the kitchen, what it would do if you had a new roof, what new flooring would be, how that would increase the value, what landscaping, you know, makes a difference like renovating the kitchen all these different random things that you know like the back of your hand that would help me sell my property faster or would help me increase the value you know all this stuff 
So as right. you start to make video content on that, it, first of all, it makes it easier for you. So now every video, it's no longer having to think, what the heck do I talk about? Because you're all over the place talking about all kinds of stuff. Now we're just talking about selling. So, so if I can drop a weekly video or if you can drop a weekly video, two to three minutes, educating the, 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 the consumer on the process of selling and at the end of the video, so, so that's step three, you're running a weekly ad, that's step three. Here's step four and here's how ads look. This is step four, step five, and then that's all I got for you. But as people are, are scrolling through the newsfeed, the attention is in the middle. So right here in the middle of the, of the, of the, um, of the Facebook newsfeed, in the middle, this is where all the attention is at. So right here, this is a perfect example. Now this right here, let's just pretend she's a real estate agent. That could easily be an agent. Simple video. Now she did some editing. She added top seven things people forgot. She did some editing on the top and on the bottom, but that's not necessary at all. This video was literally, this, this video was literally shot on her cell phone. There's nothing fancy about it, and that's what you want. So just like you're doing over here, exactly what, what, what she's doing over here. So okay. here's what's going on. This weekly video is what I'm saying. That's step three. There's the text. There's the video. Um, and, and there's the post. Every week, like it's your religion. Here's step four. Again, in the video, you're talking about one thing, and that's selling or buying. When we click at the end of the video, here's what you're going to do. And so this is what you most likely did not do on any of these videos over here. You most likely maybe put out your phone number. Hey guys. And if you're interested, call me. You might've said something like that, but here's, here's the tweak. Here's the call to action. At the end of every video, you're going to say, Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like to download my free 2020 seller guide, that will give you all these tips and tricks on what to do to your property before you plan on listing it. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free seller guide. See you guys there. That's the call to action at the end of every video. So now as you run a weekly video targeting your backyard every week, the entire campaign evolves around your seller guide. At the end of the video, we're telling people to click learn more to come over to our page to download their free seller guide. This is step four. So step four is taking them to a landing page. That's step four. The moment they come over here and they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips, 10 tips to raise the value of your home before selling. This right here is what, you're, what everything evolves around. So step four is a landing page. The moment they enter their name and email, that's what I call step five. Now they click on the yellow button, send me your 10 tips. Step five is email automation. So right away, that person enters their information. An email is triggered to them right away. Hey Dave, this is Amy. Thank you so much for downloading my, my 2020 seller guide. Hey, in this PDF, you're going to learn the top, top 10 tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Hope you enjoy it and click the link below and you'll be able to download your free PDF. Talk to you soon. And by the way, check your emails because I have a ton of great value coming your way. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Tomorrow, another email goes out. This is step five, email automation. Tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey Dave, this is Amy. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my free 2020 seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal? Here's what I meant by it. And Dave, by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call and really get all my tips and strategies, I do free consultation calls. I'd love to chat. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. A wow. Two days later. So I need a website. A landing page. Not a website, a landing page. Landing but yeah, page. You, can, you can call it that. But Are you able to help with that? Heck yeah. That's, that's what we do. Um, you have these fancy websites that your broker has, right? You probably have a fancy website, but that's not going to capture the lead. So we need a web page. We don't need a website. We need a web page. And okay. so these web pages, simple one, all this can be edited. Like you can edit the color of the image. All this stuff is elementary. Like my 12 year old can do this. Like I can help you with this, all this for sure. But this is what I coach on and train on. And, and I can do all this stuff with you. But whether it's a, whether it's a seller guide we're giving away or whether we're doing a video, let's say that that week, there's four weeks in a month, that next week we have a listing. Okay, cool. Now our weekly video is pertaining to that listing and we're doing a walkthrough and we're recording on our cell phone and we're telling the people, hey guys, and by the way, at, at the end of the video, you're telling them this, 
there's a call to action at the end of every, at the end of every video. There's a call to action. Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like all the details on this property, if you'd like all the images, click learn more, it will take you straight to my webpage where I can send you 17 photos that you're not going to see anywhere else. Click learn more. I'll see you guys there. So at the end of every video, we're sending them to a web page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. And all, again, all this is just, it's just a template. You can edit all this stuff. But the moment they come here and click that one single button and they enter their information, this is someone that lives down the street that's interested in that listing. They enter their name and email, send me the details. Again, step five, the email automation sends out that email right away. Hey, Dave, this is Amy. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, here's all the details and the images. Schedule your call as soon as you can. Schedule your private showing because this property won't last. Click the link below. I can't wait to talk to you, Dave. And then again, it's all about, it's not just about that first email. It's about the handful of, that, of emails that are going to follow. So whether it's a seller guide, whether it's an open house, whether it's a listing, a handful of emails need to nurture that list because we're not asking for a phone number up front, nor do you want to. Okay. Name an email. So it's my email automation. So for example, that first email went out. A day later, another email is going to go out. Hey, Dave, this is Amy. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring. I know you, I know you inquired yesterday on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, let me tell you a little bit more about this property because it's for sure not going to last. A few bullet points on the email, email number two. Hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a private showing, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And then another gotcha. email goes out the following day. A third email goes out. Hey, Dave, guess what, man? You'll never believe it. But last night I had a private showing and 15 families showed up. This property is not going to last. If you want to schedule a private showing, click the link below. It will take you straight to my calendar. So in the emails, the whole purpose of the emails is, is again, up front in the video, there's a call to action to get you to, cl to click learn more. On the back end, via email automation, the whole call to action in every email that I'm going to send is to get you to schedule a call. And I'm not doing it aggressively. I'm not saying, hey, call me. I mean, click the link. It's not, it's not aggressively. I'm actually bringing value in my email as well. So whether it's a listing that they're opting into, my next four emails are going to be value-based around that listing. And in the end, at the end of the email, it's not, it's not in the PS. It's not in my email signature. It's just at the end of the email. Hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to schedule a private showing, I can't wait to talk to you. Click the link. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Talk to you soon. So it's just a very non-aggressive, hey, and by the way, and that's, right. the, that's for every email, no matter if it's an open house you inquired on, a listing, or my seller guide. If it, like your seller guide, if you can imagine, let's say you have a 10-page seller guide. And in that 10 pages, there's all these amazing tips on selling my house or, or different things that I need, need to know before I plan on listing it. Your emails, let's just say you set up 10 emails that follow. Those 10 emails will all be based on that seller guide. And also, by the way, Dave, if you'd like to schedule a call, click the link below, take it straight to my calendar, we schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So I'm bringing value in these emails if it was a seller guide or a buyer guide, my emails are going to educate them more on what they downloaded, more on that seller guide. Short email, short, key, short and simple. Hey, Dave, remember on page seven when I was talking about renovating your kitchen and what it can do to the value? Here, here's what I meant by it. A couple sentences, and then you're asking me to schedule a call. But the whole, the whole magic in all this, and I'll say this in closing, it's all automated. From the moment you put up one single Facebook post and we run it as a Facebook ad for the next seven days, it's running 24 seven while you and your husband are at dinner to the moment people are clicking here and coming to this one web page and entering their name and email while you guys are sleeping to the moment those emails are going out, getting people to schedule appointments while you're out there with your family having fun. It's all automated. It, it just comes down to putting out that video targeting my local area and doing it every week as if it was my religion. That's what mm -hmm. it comes down to. So again, as every agent is spinning their wheels, posting on all these damn platforms, it's one post, it's one video, it's one ad targeting my backyard. The only people that need to know about Amy are the people that live next door. And I'm willing to bet all these people that live next yep. door don't even know you yet. This is how we reach them. We're either going to door right. knock, we're either going to direct mail, or we're going to put out a Facebook video ad and say hello to every single one of them. You know, and and and, and get them. I think to definitely with the, this time with COVID, the yep. Facebook ad is way better. Oh, it has to be. It has to be. 
has to be, you know? So, so those are the five steps. Step one, link. Step two, taking that light count up. Step three is start doing these weekly. Step four, take them to a web page to capture the lead. And then step five, nurture that lead via email automation. I don't want you sitting here at your, at your keyboard having to message all these people individually. Those emails are set up and it's just a handful. It's not like you're going to, it's not like 25 emails go out after, although you can set it up that way. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just picturing, let's just say five, you know, five emails right. follow the moment they opt in five, right. five, five, six, seven emails follow the moment they opt in. Is and, there a way to capture the name and emails and put them into the CRM? Heck yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it, that's what it pretty much is, is the CRM. So it, once okay. that lead comes in, it's already on a list and it's already in a sequence, which is your email autoresponder. So I could track everything right here. Like I can pull up active leads, whoever opted into that page for a listing, for an open house, for my seller guide, I can pull it up. I can look at that. I can come over here and I can click on that lead and I can open up their file and see, you know, what they gave me, whether they gave me their information, whether they gave me their phone number, all that stuff, what list they're on. So I could track everything here, um, all in this one software. Awesome. So, okay. So this software, <laughs> many, many different softwares out there. Majority of them run about a hundred bucks a month. Um, but the yeah, well, we Compass gives us Compass has a really good CRM. Um, but they don't have landing pages. That's the only thing. They no, don't have landing page. They don't. And I don't think you have an online calendar. No, I don't. I don't recall. Yeah, you, it does. I've spoken to many Compass uh, okay. agents, and 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 the the web page the web page is it's it's not a landing page. Like I I need one page with one button. That's it. Like that's, that's as basic as, as you need. If you, I'm telling you every, every ad you'll ever see on Facebook is taking you to a simple page like this. Yeah. So that's how they're capturing leads all day. But at the same time, the way you're a little different is the fact that you're educating me in the video and then you're actually giving me something of value for free. That's right. what makes Amy stand out. It, it, it becomes a, a completely different pitch right like it's not a, it's not even a pitch like i'm educating my end consumer and then i'm giving them something of value in exchange for their name and email that's why that's why what it what it really is going to boil down to is a seller guide or a buyer guide because yeah you'll have a listing but i mean i guess you can run it until you sell it but at the same time i want you running a different one the strategy is to, is to kind of run a different ad every week that's what you want is a different and i can video. do that no no even if you have <laughs> yeah. a listing and it hasn't sold Let's say you do one, let's say you do one video on that listing. It's a walkthrough of the exterior. That's a seven day ad. And then, and then the next week, week number two, you do a walk. If the property still hasn't sold, you do a walkthrough of the interior. And, and then if, if the third week still ha you haven't sold, maybe do a different video on, on, on something else on the property, but it's just a different video is what I'm saying. Right. Same listing, yeah. taking them to the same page, but it's a different <clears throat> video. So right. that's kind of the ultimate strategy. And I know that was a ton, but where you should start first is really just step one and two. Like, let's just get all yeah. the links listed. Let's get this like count up. And then once that ball is rolling, then we can maybe jump on another call in a week or so, a couple weeks or whenever you want, I'll email you. Um, but whenever you want, we'll, we'll jump on and we can focus just on step three, just on getting out these videos and strategizing for that, because that's okay. where your leads are coming from. It's, it's okay. folks that are in your yeah. backyard that are going to start seeing your videos because right now, no one in the backyard has seen our videos, right? Exactly. So, so that's what we want. It's, and, that's that, and that's the thing I tell people all the time is that the difference is, is that if you run an ad for seven days on this video and you targeted your local area, the difference in numbers would have been that this would have been 2,500 views and there would have been all people that live next door. That's a huge difference. And the cost of that, Amy, the cost of that, here's the deal. Put it this way. Put it this way. Here's the reality. Put it this way. And I'm not even talking fancy dinner. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I mentioned it all the time, but here's the reality. If your husband took you out to dinner tonight, and I'm, I'm not even talking steak. If, you're, if you guys went to just have some nice burgers, if you guys went out to dinner tonight, 
he would spend more on that dinner than what you're going to spend on an entire week running this targeting your local area. Okay. So it's not, it's not expensive at all. Like at all, at all. Like, again, if I, if I go to dinner tonight with my, with my, just my wife alone, not even bringing in the, not even bringing the damn kids. If I just took my wife out to dinner and we went out to a decent dinner, I'm spending 60 bucks for sure. Oh, right? like, that's like, without even any alcohol. That's not even with alcohol, right? Like, let's keep it real. Like, it's not. I mean, really, like, honestly. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's what I'm saying. So if you ran that as a, for a week, you'd spend about 60 bucks for the week. Targeting my local backyard, getting my face seen by everyone who lives next door. That's powerful. Like there's nothing, yeah. I can't do direct mail. I can't buy Zillow leads at that price. I can't door knock. It's going to cost, it's going to take my time, which my time is money, right? Like what the heck can right. I do to get the attention of my local area? It's a Facebook ad, specifically a Facebook video ad. And if I see you doing this, I just freak out. Cause I'm like, holy crap. If she just knew how to target it, she would take over. And that's, yep. and that's exactly, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, how the hell do I increase right? these views and get calls yes. from it? Yes, that, that's how. Because I enjoy doing video. I mean, it was oh, a little nerve wracking at first. You feel like nervous, like, oh gosh, I look silly. But then I've gotten a lot of feedback from people. I love your videos. Yes, yes. And, and, and as, as long as you keep it, the strategy is to keep it up, is to just do it every week, every week. That's the strategy. And then just budget for it, to budget for it. You're going to have to budget for for the Facebook ad side of it all, and you're going to have to budget for some type of landing page software. And again, okay. majority of them are about 100 bucks a month. The most popular ones are 100 bucks a month, but it's just the landing page. So you can, you can have as many pages as you want. You can edit. You can make one for all kinds of different projects, open house, whatever. You can do one for your junk, junk removal. You can do landing pages for whatever, but the majority of them are about 100 bucks just for the landing page. The one that I use it's a hundred bucks a month and it's for the landing page, the email autoresponder and the online calendar. That's all you need. You are after appointments. You're after capturing leads and getting people to schedule an appointment. So I need an online calendar. I need an email autoresponder and I need the landing page software. So I can easily send you a 14 day trial. Like there's a 14 day trial with the one I use. I can easily email it to you and you can just play around with it for 14 days. But I have all these funnels already done. Like, Obviously, you'll want to change out the image and, and maybe even edit the headline or whatever. But as far as the template, I have the entire thing packaged in a red bow, in a red bow for you. Like I have an open house. I have a seller guide. I have this listing one. I can easily just transfer them to your account and you, and you now have them. But awesome. anyone, that I, any, anyone that I set up with that, the company, the software company, they give me a little commission on it. So that allows me to not, not have to charge you. And so my whole incentive is to, is to make a little commission on it with you and make you successful. So you end up keeping it right. I'll just be as transparent. And, and the reason why I'm going to do what I'm going to do with you is because they pay me a little commission every month. And that just incentivizes me to help you succeed with it and to make sure you keep it. So I want to really help you with this software and I don't charge you anything to do it. Cause again, they pay me a little commission to, to help you do it. So you'll it have my like time for deal. free is what I'm saying is where I can help you with all this stuff. We can jump on calls. I can walk you through it. Like, I, like on my YouTube channel, I have so many calls of me doing this stuff. Like this is all I do. So I'll help a realtor get it started. We'll jump on a strategy call. I'll record it. I'll put it on my YouTube channel and I'll just simply do a tutorial. And I'm walking, you know, a new agent through just setting up a simple listing for, you know, a simple page for a listener or whatever. But this stuff is, is, is this is super basic. It might be time consuming up front, but again, I have all these already done for you. Got it. You just set up a 14 day trial. So that, okay. but that, that doesn't have to even happen right now. Like that doesn't have to happen right now because right now it's just, it's, it's getting the links up and getting that like count, getting that like ad ran and to run the like ad, I don't need a landing page. So if anything, the 14 day trial, start that when you want to start putting out a weekly ad. And so again, okay, my emails are set up for, to go out like, I don't know. You'll probably get an email from me maybe in the next seven to 10 days. And that's when we start talking about this step, right. like step three. And okay. at that point you can set up a 14 day trial and then, and then, and then I can help you with all this stuff. But here's, here's one video that I highly, highly recommend you do first. And I don't know if you have a video like this, but let me check. Okay. You probably, I don't think you do, but let me know if, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. 
do you have a video of you introducing yourself? No. That's the first video. That's the first video. Because what I'm going to teach on the Facebook ad side is how we start creating audiences of people who are watching our videos. So the very first video that I always recommend is an intro video. Pulling out your phone and going on a two to three minute rant about Amy. Your background, your experience, your passion, your hobbies, your family, why real estate, why you love helping people buy real estate, why, why your, your neck of woods, like why is your area so amazing right now? It's not a pitch video, it's more of an intro. Hey, this is Amy, I'm your local realtor. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to introduce myself. I know a lot of folks out here may have not known me, but I wanted to kind of give you a little you know, background of where I'm coming from and why I love doing what I do. A simple intro video, and what we do with that is that becomes Facebook video ad number one. You run that to everyone in your farm. You get thousands and thousands of people to view it. And then you create an audience of all those people. It's what Facebook calls a custom audience. You create a custom audience of those thousands of people who viewed the intro video. And then, and then now when we go on to Facebook ad number two, we retarget all of them. So I don't know if you've ever, if you ever noticed like just on random websites, when you're on a random website, and you may click on a product, but you don't purchase it. And then you go surf around somewhere else and you see an ad. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. Right. That's retargeting. Oh, yeah. That's retargeting. And the reason how they know that is because they're Facebook pixeling you. This Facebook pixel is on everyone's web, web page. You got to put it there, which I'll show you how to do it with, with these ones over here. But if a, if a website, if, if, if the person of the website knows what they're doing, for sure, they have their Facebook pixel tracking. So the reason why you'll go to a website, let's just say a random female website, you're looking at shoes, you're looking at bags, you're looking at perfume, whatever you're looking at. You're, and it's not Amazon. It's a random, you know, other website. And then, and then you leave that website and then you see an ad somewhere else online regarding that product or that company. That's because that company, Facebook pixeled you from the beginning. They know you clicked on that shoe. They know you clicked on that handbag. And because they know that, because they Facebook pixeled you, they're able to retarget you with another ad because you were interested back then. And that's what happens with video. So as we run these videos, the first one is the intro. So let's say it's a four minute video. Amy introducing herself. Facebook is gonna give us the data. Now they're not gonna give us name and phone number. It's not a lead, it's, it's just a video view. They're gonna give us the data of how many people actually watched your four minute video. They're gonna give us the data of how many people watched two minutes of your four minute video. They'll give us the data of those who watch one minute of your four minute video. And that data is what I call, is what Facebook calls a custom audience. And that's powerful. If I sit here and I watch one minute of a four minute video, there was some interest there. And if I live down the street, there was some, there's no way I'm gonna sit here for one minute. 60 seconds is a long time. If, if there was not some type of attraction or some type of experience where I was interested in what she was saying, that's what happens with these videos. Like what, what you do is you just continue to retarget the people who are watching your stuff. That's why every week you want to put out a new one and retarget all those who watched the previous one. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. But, but that's more, that's down the line. That's down the line, but that's, that's all part of your Facebook weekly strategy. So right now, let's just kind of keep it simple. Like we'll talk about that later. Like let's just get the links listed. I'll send you an email, a video on that. And then the like count, it just, on the likes, it just comes down to your budget. I mean, it comes down to, it doesn't necessarily come down to how many you want. Cause I mean, if I asked you how many you want, you'd probably say 15,000, but no, it's not really how many you want. It's really how much, what's your budget. And then I can kind of tell you what we can expect for the budget. Like, and, and really it just comes down to, you know, per day. Okay. Like, five bucks a day, like, cause it's all it is a Facebook ad and I'll email it to you once we're live. All I do is I'll type in, let's see, what area are you? you're in, you're in, you're in plantation. I'll yeah, type we're, in, I'm in like plantation Davy. Okay. So then they're like right next to each other. And that's pretty much where I focus. Perfect. So what I can easily do is I can type that into Facebook as I'm setting up the ad, I'll just type in luxury homes in that area. And Facebook gives me a bunch of beautiful images of homes and I'll just use that image. That's just normally what I always do. 
and I'll use one of their images to run the like ad. So it just comes down to the daily budget. We'll run that for the first month and only the first month. It's a one time. Well, let's ad. say, let's say, so for one month we run it. Yeah. For one month. Okay. So what is your, like, if, if I want to get up to two, 3000 people, what is your, what is the typical budget? If you, well, $5 a day, let's look at, let's start small. Like $5 a day would be 150 for the month, right? That would take okay. this number to 1500. If you rent it at $10 a day, which would be 300, that would take this number to 3,500. So it's kind of on the daily budget. It's, it's your overall budget, but then again, it's, it's, it's the daily. What are we breaking down daily? Either five bucks or 10 bucks. But if you put down $10 a day and I ran that for a month, that number would surpass 3,000 for sure. And it would surpass 3,000, not in a month. It will surpass 3,000 within a couple of weeks. Okay. So, and that's all you would need. Like you, you wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to do any more than that. Like that's as, that's as much as you need. Like, because I want every dollar after that going into step three, running these weekly videos to capture leads. That's where I want your budget. So if, okay. let's just call it 300 for the first month. Okay. 300 for the first month going to the like ad. After that, we're going to focus strictly on weekly, weekly videos. And that's for lead capture. Okay. So for go away junk, if I did both of them, I'd probably do $5 a day for each one. Have it be 300 bucks for the Perfect. like ad. Perfect. That's um, all you need. And then on the go away junk, do weekly videos as well for the, for the Facebook ads. Heck yeah. That's what I would do for sure. Simple videos, documentary. All you're doing is document. In that case, you're documenting, documenting different things you guys are doing. Like, like you're pulling up to a house and getting ready to, 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 to pick up some stuff, get three minutes of it on your cell phone video and call that the next ad. Hey guys. And by the way, if you'd like us to come by and give you a free consultation or give you a free whatever and, and come by and, and, and let you know what it would cost to pick up all your stuff, click learn more. It'll take you straight to our webpage where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And it's just okay. a weekly ad that you got in circulation 24 seven getting people to click learn more. And in this case, they're in your real estate case, their case, they're clicking here on a listing, but it's the same exact thing. They can click learn more, come to a web page where it's an image of the truck. It's an image of what you guys do in the background, for example, and the headline, click the button below to schedule your best time. They click on this button and rather than, rather than this form popping up, they can click that button and let's just say a calendar pops up. So they click on that yellow button and it brings them to a calendar, the junk calendar where they can schedule the time for you guys to stop by. Like that is all part okay. of the software. So again, the landing page, the email automation and the calendar is worth my hundred bucks a month. Like I need that stuff to schedule appointments. So that could be powerful. Like you can use okay. one account to tell you the truth. You can use one account for, for both of your businesses one software account okay and just and just create you know as many pages as you want but but the junk one that's super simple like all you're looking for is to get people of uh, to get people to schedule a call like i mean that's what i would think right. i would i would think like if you know like i would think i i, I would need a yeah right I, like, I can't do a pickup unless we have the estimate and all that right? stuff so yeah they would have to schedule a call yeah so your entire video campaign is evol is evolving around you documenting different parts of the day whether it's in the truck whether it's picking up stuff whatever documenting different stuff of the day different things of the day and 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 having that call to action at the end hey guys click learn more it'll take you straight to our calendar where you can schedule a call we'd love to give you a free estimate and we can't wait to talk to you click learn more and that's all we're doing. We're just, we're, we're, it's what Facebook calls optimizing. We're running Facebook ads to optimize for appointments. Over here on the real estate side, you're running Facebook ads to optimize for lead capture. So it's very specific. What are we looking to do? It's very specific. We're looking to get people to schedule appointments. Now on your real estate side, you're looking for people to schedule appointments as well, but that's on the back end. On the front end, I'm giving them my seller guide. On the front end, I'm, 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 I'm promoting my listing, but it's on the back end via email that I'm getting them to schedule the appointment. On the junk side, it's up front. I'm trying to get you to schedule an appointment, right? Like I want to take you straight up front to my calendar up front. So 
that's simple. Those are, those are, those are, again, I mean, obviously it sounds biased, but to me, those are simple ads. It just comes down to the content. It comes down to you putting out a video every week. That's your only job, your only job. So okay. you got it. You got it. You got, you, you, you're so close. Like once we start running this and capturing leads, you're going to freak out. You're like, holy crap, it's working. I'm so excited. Yeah. So let, let's, I mean, I have a handful of emails that are going to be coming your way. So just check, check for my emails. And then just, if we want to just do $5 a day on this one, $5 a day on the other one. Are you on a computer right now, by the way? Yeah. Okay. We need two more minutes and we're done. Jump on your, jump on your business page. Yeah. Head, head over to your business page real quick. All I'm going to do um, is request access to the page so I can, so I can run the ad. Okay. Um, how do I, just hit escape. We're in the share screen. You can hit escape and it would minimize okay. the zoom window. And then it oh should gosh. bring you back to your desktop. Where's escape? On your There's keypad. like so much, so on my keypad. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Right on your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. So I will just move. Or actually, I'll just go this way. Are you I'm sorry. You cut out. Oh, I just, you're still there. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. But yeah, you, you cut out just a little bit. And then what was the junk, the junk page again? My, what was it again? Junk.com. I'm sorry. Say it one more time. You cut out. Uh, go away. Go junk. Away, go away. Dot com. Go, go away. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, go away. No. Junk. Not dot com. Sorry. Yeah. Go away. Junk. I love that, Amy. Gosh, man, you guys have something big there. I think that, I mean, although you're going to be a real estate queen and build a real estate empire, I just, I just truly believe this right here. That's a big, big brand right there. I just completely see it so clear. I we do it. too, but it's like the last couple of years I've been so over, like there's yep. just so much going on I that bet. I can't really see the way. So that like you finding me <laughs> was a godsend. Right back at you. I, I humbly couldn't agree with you more like on both ways like the it's mutual like i again i'm so thankful for everyone that sees what i see as well so i yeah. I, I thank you for sure what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um i'll request access to both pages so just um head over to your let's do the real estate side first just head okay, over there and, and click, on, click on settings on the um in the top right you'll see settings Right, I see account, notification, messenger, create. Groups. Like you should see it, not in the blue bar, but right below the blue bar, you should see on the business page, you should see settings. Hmm. Weird. Oh, Maybe I see, it's over here on the left, yep. Oh, you see on the left, okay, so you have a different template. You're, I, I think yeah. you have the new Facebook look. Do you have the new Facebook layout? Um, it looks new. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So click on settings and see if you see if you see page roles anywhere there to the left page roles. Mm, okay. This is where I see. I see page visibility, visitor post, post and story sharing, audience optimization for post. Um, Okay, new can you I, saw, I see new new I see new notification inspired digital. So go ahead perfect. and click on that. Right there. Perfect. Click on that. That's for go away junk. Yes. Page roles. Okay, so I just I just requested access to both of them. So exactly what you're gonna do to go away junk right now is what you'll do to the real estate page. Okay. So click on that and then um respond to request. Mm -hmm. And then it should ask you for your password, and that's it. Page roles. Everyone who works on your page can have a different role. Selections. Assign a new page role. Agencies. Pending partner request. Is that Re it? Yeah, it should say respond to request. Okay, it respond to request. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right there. Uh, then digital access, right? Yes. Okay. Approve. All right. Okay. So okay. Did it ask for your password? Yeah, I'm giving it to it right now. Perfect. 
There you go. So this was for the junk page. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. so we're good on, perfect. So we're good on this one. So let me add myself to that and we're good on go away junk. So now it's just the real estate side and we're good. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know this layout at all. It's like completely. Yes, is right. You have, and and that's how my so my my personal page. It's still in the old version. They haven't updated that, but they updated the entire back end of everything where I run ads. So everything is still the same. Now I don't layout. Now I don't know how to get to my real estate page. What the heck? Do me a favor. Can you can you share your screen? Can you, do you, if you come back to the Zoom window, you should see that green share screen at the bottom. Um, I see, how do we do this? Okay, I have, I don't see green share. I have mute, start video more. Yeah, click on more. Participants, chat, record. Particip yeah, right there you should see. Participants, chat. Um, I don't see share screen. Let me, let me maximize it. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. And you want me to click on my Facebook? Yes. Let me look at your, at your page. I'll walk you through it. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. You have the, the new layout, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Yeah. You got to learn it. Okay, so cool. So just click on click on that drop down. You see the number one in red to the right. There's that drop down. Click on that drop down and see if you're paid. Not that one, but to the right. Mm, you mean to the that, left? To the right. That arrow, that little down arrow. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, hit that one, and you should be able to go to your page from. Okay, so your page is not showing there. That's fine. Click on um. Click on home. The home. The home. The little house at the top to the left. To the very very yeah right there click on that and then you'll see your page right here got you okay there we go perfect so we click on that and then so this is what i yeah see even when you come over here yeah your settings yeah so now it's to the left it's no longer in the top right that's good to know okay page settings. settings and then and then right right there you see page rolls to the left ah there we go perfect And then, and then when we're done, like I'll start the ad tonight, but, and it's going to run for 30 days, but I already know we're going to, we're going to hit our goal like way before that, like way, way before okay. that. And so I truly believe we'll hit our goal within, within two weeks, like within two weeks, we'll already be at that number. And so once we hit, cause the goal, since we're going to break it up, we'll be at, we'll be at 1500 on your page and 1500 on the junk, on the go away junk page. Okay. So just to kind of keep in your in in the back of your mind i mean it's totally up to you but once we hit that number 1500 you can always come back over here and you can remove me so just like you clicked on respond to request, okay right where it said respond uh -huh. to request it will now say remove so you can always remove me once we're done Got you. you see right there remove perfect okay okay so yeah that way I'm and not then how do we pay page. for the ads just whatever card you just give me either visa master or amex and then I'll email okay. you an actual Can you give me comment. one moment? I got to run downstairs. Okay, no worries. Okay, give me one moment. Okay. I'm going to grab some coffee. Hi, Amy. Hi there. Hold on. My husband just got home. I was briefly trying to like throw all this information at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I 
um, which card do you want me to use? So we said to hold on. So just give me, just no, give me a few seconds. Take your time. Take your time. I'm going to grab some coffee and see if I need to change some poop. Take your time. Hey, no problem. I'm here. I'll be right back. So, okay. Okay. Thanks. Amy, are you there? Yep, I'm here. I'm so sorry. I had to change a diaper. I'm so sorry. Were That's okay. Long? I understand. Oh, but we're all good. We're all good now. Okay, cool. Yep, so, I'm, I am ready when you are. Awesome. Okay, whatever card, and then I'll um, jot it down here. Okay, it's a MasterCard, and it's going to be 